Hi there, I'm Bob and I'm doing the Old Testament reading for today. So we're about to notch up another book. Uh, so Zephaniah is what we're reading today. And um, Zephaniah is, uh, yeah, is another book, another minor prophet. So we were reading Nahum yesterday, another minor prophet. And, uh, and it feels like we've been kind of hearing a load of stuff recently about the judgment of God and, um, and what that means. And uh, Zephaniah again is another book where another minor prophet who's prophesying about the, the coming judgment um, on the earth of people who um, live in a way which totally dishonours God and rejects him. And um, so uh, he starts like naming different groups of people in, in the book of Zephaniah who are going to experience the judgment of God. So Philistia, Moab and Ammon. Uh, Cush, Assyria, all these people groups are going to experience the judgment of God and what that means. And then he says, um, he starts talking about Jerusalem as well. And Jerusalem is going to um, experience some of this judgment as well. But the difference with Jerusalem is is that someone or something is going to get in the way of this judgment being completely uh, given to Jerusalem and to the people of God. And, and there's something, there's this kind of flavour of something that something's going to, um, interrupt this judgment, something's going to get in the way, something's going to stop it, it's going to be something about mercy and, um, and forgiveness in the midst of it. So it's, it's, there's, a, there's this whisper of Jesus basically throughout this book. Um, and then you get to Zephaniah 3, and um, uh, oh sorry, the, the end of Zephaniah 3, and suddenly um, it starts to look good again for Jerusalem, it starts to look good for God's people. Um, start seeing, O daughter of Zion, shout aloud, O Israel, be glad and rejoice with all your heart, for the Lord has taken away your punishment. He has turned back your enemy. So there's this kind of, this thing starting to, you know, it's like this whisper of Jesus in there. And, um, and then the Lord, the King of Israel, is with you. Never again will you fear any harm. And um, I love this, um, that they say then, uh, do not let your hands hang limp. The Lord your God is with you and he is mighty to save. He will take great delight in you. He will quiet you with his love and he will rejoice over you with singing. And I couldn't talk about Zephaniah without point, pointing out that verse. And it's very well known and lots of people have heard it um, uh, many times. And sometimes when you hear those verses a lot, they can start to, to wear thin or, or the, you know, what, what's really going on. We, we kind of lose sight of that again. But just hear that again today. That's what God long stew over his people um, is to quiet them with his love and and because he takes great delight in us um, and he will re he rejoices over us with singing and there's that call isn't there before that um, do not let your hands hang limp and I, I love the impression there that there's sort of a, a call to it's almost you know in, in many of the ways that we worship sometimes we lift our hands in worship it's like they can't hang limp by our side we have to sort of, it's lifting them up in sort of adoration and surrender of God and, and sort of really attributing who he is, you know, the sort of magnificence of who he is uh, as we lift our hands. And kind of, there's this just call there to remember that as, um, as, the, as the people remember their God. Um, so there you go, Book of Zephaniah.